are a group practice with psychiatrists and licensed clinical social workers. So we offer medication management and also individual and group therapy. We always have the patient in mind as our first priority. We collaborate care with all of the patients, other providers, to make sure that the patients are getting the optimal care that they need. Whether a client needs med management or talk therapy or even both, one client can get all of their needs met under one roof. The culture of this practice is a very positive one. We all get along. I can literally go to any psychiatrist and because we all have such a good rapport with one another, we can literally talk about the patient and collaborate. The psychiatrist listen to the therapist and the therapist listen to the psychiatrist, which is very different from other locations. Therapy is really just about you becoming your full authentic self. The ultimate goal for each and every patient that comes in here is to be happy. My job is to help them kind of figure out what that looks like because in this process of therapy, we're in this therapeutic relationship together and I need to make sure that you see me as a companion along the way. I always give the example of the patient being the driver and I'm the GPS. The goal of everything is for them to reach their highest potential. We specialize in treating patients who have behavioral and emotional problems and various psychiatric diagnoses, including patients who have substance abuse problems, depression, anxiety disorders, PTSD, children with ADHD, and some adults with ADHD, and elderly patients with dementia and neurological problems as well. Our therapists are able to use different modalities and try to fit the needs for the patient. They're not set to one uh, school of thought or one mode of treatment. Um, we have clinicians who are trained in trauma specialties, like EMDR, eye movement desensitization, reprocessing, acceptance commitment therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, internal family systems therapy, and also mindfulness-based psychotherapy techniques as well. I think incorporating many different aspects of a child's life is very important to seeing the full picture and I believe it yields better results in treatment. And I love working with kids because I enjoy seeing them mature and grow up into young adults and watching the progress they make, there is nothing like that. I'm a person that is very spiritual. So I believe that bringing in that sense of spirituality into therapy, it can bring myself and the other person to a higher level of understanding. And I think what I love most about practicing here is that I can provide a sacred space for my patients without judgment. When our patients come in, we want to make sure that they don't spend time sitting in the waiting room. So they know that they'll be seen at the time that their visit is scheduled. That is something very important for us, that we respect our patients' time. We're all here to listen from when you walk in from the front desk and our front staff. And it's easy to get in touch with us, it's easy to get medication refills, and it's easy to make appointments. We want to be able to offer accessibility and flexibility to our patients. So we accept most insurances. We offer telehealth appointments, evening hours, and also uh, some of our patients come during lunch hours. When you call, you get a person who talks to you as opposed to a phone tree or going to a call center. And if a patient needs to be seen in a short amount of time, I'm able to bring them in in a few days as opposed to having them wait for several weeks when they're going through a certain crisis. Everybody's welcome in our office. I have worked with people of different races, ethnicities, cultures, all different ages, and also within the LGBTQ community as well. In addition to that, working with healthcare workers and frontline medical staff. I have patients that have different diagnoses, anywhere from PTSD to anxiety to depression. They have different cultural backgrounds, and they are quite the melting pot, and we all learn from one another, myself included, in the process. 
I think it is very critical to maintain and establish long-term relationships, especially in the mental health field. Patients don't want to tell their story over and over again, and we don't have any transitioning residents or doctors. We listen, we remember, and we move forward with our clients as they move forward. I think what our patients love most about coming here is that they know this is a safe place for them to explore difficulties, hardships, and know that they will never be met with judgment, but only compassion to help them grow and, and overcome. I love helping patients, and I really like to play a role in reducing their suffering and pain, and how uh, medications can assist them along with their own strengths and coping skills that they can use to be able to achieve a better quality of life. It feels really good to see how patients progress over a long period of time. Initially, you talk about symptoms and what's bothering them, and when they get better, they spend a lot of the sessions talking about their vacations and their family members because they're doing so well. It's so fundamental to have good mental health. If your mind is in a good place, then your body feels better.